Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through a lower body workout. The full workout will be in the description below, so if you want to copy this and try it for yourself, definitely do that and let me know how you like it. I started out the workout by doing banded kickbacks. This is just a good warm up to activate your muscles, get the blood flowing, get your mindset on the workout to come. And I just did two sets of 20 reps for that just so I was feeling good and ready to go. The first actual exercise is gonna be your stiff-legged deadlifts. You can choose to use dumbbells or kettlebells with these or even bands would work as well. The trick with these is just to make sure you're keeping your knees locked into position and you're hinging at your hips. And it really helps to keep in mind that you're just pushing your tush back. Essentially, make sure you keep your chest up high as well because that's gonna help you keep posture. Your next exercise is going to be your Bulgarian split squat. Um, I really encourage you to move in a diagonal motion with this instead of straight up. A lot of people just try to push straight up with your knees and you'll actually get a better activation of your glute muscle, which is really what I feel on these exercises whenever you are moving in a diagonal motion. Those are definitely really difficult to do and so pat yourself on the back <laughs> whenever you complete those. Okay, the, the next exercise is gonna be your elevated three-fourth squat. So this one is gonna be really tricky. It's gonna take you some time to get used to the movement. Be warned that these are very painful after doing uh, exercises with your, well, who am I kidding? These are just painful regardless of what you do. So what you're wanting to do is put your heels up on plates or an elevated platform and then you want to slowly squat like nice and controlled and then come up three-fourths of the way. You don't want to come up all the way until you're completely done with that exercise but you're basically just doing it nice and controlled down and then three-fourths of the way up and immediately going back down and just doing as much as you can of those as possible. Okay, last but not least is going to be your banded hamstring curls. Keep your feet flat on this. It's going to help you feel your hamstring muscle just a tad bit better than if you were to point your toe. If you were to point your toe, you're going to feel a lot of your calf being activated. And in this exercise, I was, I was really trying to target my hamstrings. And so that's basically it. You just stretch really good after you're going to need it. And there you go. So if you try it out, let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching, guys.